In a previous video, I showed you how to generate over 2,000 AI-powered images per day using N8N and PI API. That workflow was built for volume, fast, scalable, and consistent. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and being part of this growing automation community. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll begin to give you more robust workflows in our upcoming free school community. So today I want to show you add-in workflows that come after the first video I shared previously. Now, let's dive into the next step. Renaming and organizing bulk images in your drive automatically. Workflow 1. The workflow begins with a schedule trigger node. This frequent check ensures any new images dropped into the folder are picked up almost immediately. Now let's take a closer look at the second step of this workflow. The Get Files node. Connected to Google Drive. This node is designed to fetch just one image file at a time from a specific Google Drive folder. You'll notice here under the settings we've set the limit to 1. This is intentional. Instead of grabbing all files in bulk, which can overwhelm the system or bypass per image automation, we take a slow and controlled approach. One file per execution. The wait node introduces a short delay, currently set to two seconds. This interval pacing allows each image to be processed cleanly, avoiding API rate limits, especially when dealing with multiple images in succession. Downloading the file for processing node. Download file ID. Here, the image file identified in the previous step is downloaded using its Google Drive file ID. This gives us access to the original, high-quality version of the image for processing. It serves as the foundation for all the downstream enhancements. Image Optimization and Resizing Node Resize Images Next, the image goes through a resizing process where it's scaled down to 10% of its original size and converted to JPEG format at 45% quality. This reduces file size dramatically. Reason is to save the OpenAI API credits, making it easier and faster to analyze, upload, or use as a thumbnail. This step is especially useful for metadata-only workflows where image detail isn't essential. Sixth AI-powered metadata generation node, OpenAI GPT-4 Omini. Now comes the heart of the workflow, the AI image analyzer powered by OpenAI's GPT-4 Omini model. This node takes the base 64 encoded image and prompts the AI to generate a unique file name, lowercase with underscores only, a brief but unique title, a single word category like fashion or nature, and a set of 25 short SEO optimized keywords. The output is returned in a pure JSON array. No fluff, no formatting issues. Data cleanup and keyword formatting node. Clean data, JavaScript code node. To ensure compatibility with systems like Google Sheets and Adobe metadata importers, a JavaScript function parses and cleans the AI response. It converts the array of keywords into a comma-separated string, keeping formatting tight and import-friendly. This step also handles any malformed JSON or empty responses, making your workflow resilient and production-ready. Downloading the file for processing node. Download file ID. Here, the image file identified in the previous step is downloaded using its Google Drive file ID. This gives us access to the original, high-quality version of the image for processing. It serves as the foundation for all the downstream enhancements. Upload to target Google Drive. Folder node, upload new file. The renamed image is now uploaded to your designated Google Drive folder. This step ensures that your final metadata enriched images are archived in an organized manner, separate from the original uploads. The folder can be synced with Adobe Bridge, Lightroom, or submission tools for direct publishing. Append metadata to Google Sheets. Node Google Sheets. This node appends all relevant metadata to a Google spreadsheet. Each row contains file name, title, category, keywords. 
This becomes your automated media catalog, searchable, sortable, and ready for collaboration or audit. Perfect for content licensing teams, inventory control and keyword performance reviews, delete the original file node, once everything is processed, the original image is safely moved to trash. This avoids duplication and keeps your working folder clean. Telegram Notifications node. You can enable this node to get real-time Telegram alerts whenever a file is processed and uploaded. This keeps your team updated on asset availability. Especially useful if you're working remotely or managing a distributed team. This second N8N workflow may look similar to the first and, and in many ways it is. It performs the same essential job, transforming raw image files into optimized metadata enriched assets ready for platforms like Adobe Stock. However, a few important improvements make this version more robust, intelligent, and marketplace safe, especially when it comes to avoiding duplicates and ensuring all files are correctly formatted. The most significant upgrade begins with our AI agent. The AI agent node is where the intelligence begins. This node doesn't just generate metadata, it uses an advanced pre-analysis validation step. Before analyzing the image itself, the agent checks against a connected Google Sheets database that contains all previously processed file names and titles. If it detects a duplicate file name or title, the AI is instructed to automatically regenerate them, making them unique without lazy suffixes like copy or v2. Instead, it invents new original names that retain the spirit and relevance of the image. Once the uniqueness is validated, the AI then analyzes the image and outputs structured metadata in a clean JSON format. File name lowercase, underscores only, descriptive and brand-free title, short, marketable and unique category, a numeric value based on predefined category logic keywords, an array of exactly 25 short, relevant tags, all less than or equal to 30 characters. This ensures that the asset metadata is both platform compliant and SEO optimized for discoverability. Next, Parse OpenAI Response Node. We clean up the AI's response using a code node. The AI's output is returned as a string, so we parse that JSON, validate it, and restructure it so that N8N can use it efficiently in downstream nodes. Everything is formatted, file name, title, category, keywords, and neatly packed, ready for action. Download Node. Download Image. Now that the metadata is ready, we return to the image itself. This node downloads the original file from Google Drive using the ID retrieved earlier. PNG to JPEG switch node. This node checks whether the image is a PNG or JPEG. Why does that matter? Because PNG files are typically larger and some stock platforms prefer JPEGs. This conditional logic ensures that PNGs and JPEGs are sent to different routes. PNGs are sent to conversions while JPEGs are sent directly to Google Drive for upload, thus optimizing the workflow. If PNG, convert. Wait, get image via HTTP post request. If the image is a PNG, it is passed through a Tinify conversion chain. Convert, sends the image to the Tinify API for PNG to JPEG conversion and compression. Wait. We use a wait node to give the API a few seconds to finish processing. Get image. We then download the optimized compressed JPEG from Tinify. This ensures all uploads are lightweight and fast loading. Essential for SEO and web delivery. Upload to new folder. Now the renamed image and whether it was converted or already a JPEG is uploaded to your chosen Google Drive folder. The file name used here is the new file name generated by the AI earlier. This creates a completely hands-free naming and upload system. Your images land in the right folder with the right name every single time. Telegram notification. This node is currently disabled, but it's set up to send a real-time message with the title of the uploaded image via Telegram. 
If enabled, you'll get notifications for every file processed. Great for team monitoring or updates while you're away. Delete file by ID. Once the file is processed and uploaded, this node removes the original file from the source Google Drive folder. This prevents reprocessing, reduces clutter, and keeps your drive clean and optimized for future runs. Welcome to this third workflow. This is a complete walkthrough of the 20 image batch renaming workflow. A ready-made automation built with precision in N8N, designed for professionals who handle bulk image uploads, metadata tagging, and stock image management. Why this workflow stands out? This workflow is all about automation, flexibility, and speed. With built-in folder routing, parallel execution across 20 workflows, and structured metadata output, it's designed to save you time, reduce errors, and scale your creative workflow. Step 1. Dual Trigger System Flexible Scheduling Based on Your Volume This workflow comes with two separate schedule triggers, and here's why that matters. Schedule Trigger 1 The Direct Lightweight Option the first trigger is ideal if you're working with a single folder or running smaller image batches. It skips the overhead of scanning multiple Google Drive folders and goes straight into processing up to 20 images. It's fast, it's lightweight, and it's great for quick updates or real-time batch uploads. Schedule Trigger 2, built for bulk and folder. Routing. The second trigger is built for scale. If your images are spread across multiple folders, like for example, sorted by client, project, or category, this trigger is your go-to. It initiates a more robust routing mechanism that scans multiple folders in Google Drive, extracts the images, and pushes them downstream. This is perfect for agencies, large contributors, or creators managing organized collections. So whether you're dealing with a small batch or a complex archive, this workflow gives you options. Just choose the right trigger for the job. Fetch images from the Google Drive. Once triggered, the Google Drive node fetches up to 20 images at a time. You can customize the source folder and the limit keeps the batch consistent. Perfect for a repeatable scheduled automation. split and distribute into sub-workflows. After fetching the files, the workflow routes each image to one of 20 dedicated sub-workflows using execute workflow nodes. Each sub-workflow processes exactly one image, performing all the steps needed to clean, rename, and enrich that image with metadata. intelligent metadata mapping. Inside every sub-workflow, your image is renamed and assigned. A clear, SEO-friendly file name, a proper title, relevant keywords, a matching category, and a tracking status. Merge processed data. Together, once all sub-workflows return their results, the data is merged using a two-phase merge process. First, two. Merge 10 inputs nodes organize results from 10 workflows each. Then a final merge. All data node combines the full 20 image data set into a single structured output. Send data to Google Sheets. The finalized data is pushed directly into your Google Sheet, mapped to columns like checkmark file name, title, keywords, category, this makes it easy to track, review, or use the metadata for uploading to stock sites like Adobe Stock or Shutterstock. Optional features, notifications, and delay control. You'll also find a wait node, useful if you want to stagger the process or avoid rate limits. Plus, there's a built-in Telegram notification node, which you can enable to receive alerts once each image is done uploading. Ready to get started? 
Click the links below to inquire more about the workflow and to purchase this complete workflow, including all 20 sub-workflows, Google Sheets integration, and lifetime updates. You'll also get full documentation and support for customization. Thanks for watching. If this automation helped you or inspired new ideas, don't forget to subscribe for more powerful workflows, scale your creativity, and let automation do the work.